Okay, guys. Um, <laughs> as you can see, it's starting to snow. Oh yeah, first of all. Okay, guys. Um, welcome to the show. It's me again, Poppy. As you can see, it is snowing. And the funny thing is, uh, <laughs> my aunt and my uncle are here, and they told me that this place is awesome. So I'm going to check it out. It's called Kinton Ramen, and I think the weather. The snowy cold weather is perfect for ramen weather. So let's check the place out. Okay guys, I'm here in Kenton Ramen right now and they have a special. This is their December special. It's technically a tonkotsu style broth and it's pork based so that's one thing I love but I ordered extra thick noodles and an extra set of noodles and a bit of karage the karage is basically the Japanese style fried chicken and this is a pork with anchovy style broth I'm gonna expect this to be full flavored and full of umami so after coming out from the cold or coming in from the cold this is gonna be an awesome meal. So let's wait for my orders and I'll show it to you. See ya. Okay guys, uh, my order has arrived. And here's what I got. Check out this ramen. It's a tonkotsu style broth, which is infused with anchovy and pork. And their perfect account, a contraman to this is the chicken karage. And look at that egg. I have a feeling this is going to be a gooey egg. And it's going to be delicious. Okay. So we'll start with the soup first. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, let's start with the soup. Look at that. Oh, it's really thick, guys. Really thick soup. We'll give it a try. It has a somewhat um, anchovy taste, but it's more porky. Full bodied, the, the fattiness of the pork is actually coating my mouth right now. It's so good, it's really thick. Now let's explore what's here in this ramen, guys. As usual, we have the nori, you can see here. The fish cake, also known as a Naruto, Show you, oh no, chashu. I mean, sorry, chashu, and this marinated egg. And they have a single anchovy and negi or scallions. Now, let's slice this open. Mm -hmm. Look at that, guys. Look at that perfect yolk. Okay. Now let's go for a bit of the soup and a bit of that yolk. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh that's so good. Okay. Tonkotsu is basically pork bones with some scallions, a lot of mushrooms, slowly cooked until it turns milky white and then you technically add a bit of a tare or a flavored soy sauce to complete the flavor of the ramen now we'll put away the pork and we'll try some of their noodles okay Italian people out there I'm sorry but real ramen you have to slurp so itadakimasu The noodles are firm, not too, not too chewy, it's just right, and it's actually, the soup coats the noodles very well, 
it, there's something to it. There's um, it has the right gumminess to it, and I know it's um, what do you call this? It is a uh, in Tagal we call it Mickey noodles. It's basically lye or egg noodles, and we'll now give a try of their pork. Oh, look at that, nice and fatty. Oh, by the way, fat is flavor, guys. Remember that fat is flavor. Look at that. Look at that. It's so tender. The pork melts in your mouth. Listen. Whoa. So tender. Okay. So I will continue eating this later. For now, we will try their karage. This is their chicken karage. By the, by the looks of it, it is extremely crispy. And they're using chicken thighs. So you know it's gonna be good. Look at that. Nice big nugget. Mm. <laughs> Crunchy on the outside. Juicy on the inside. It's still steaming. Now that is good karage. We'll try it with a bit of their mayonnaise. Sorry. Look at that. One of the best chicken karages I've had. I'm getting teary eyed, not because it's hot, but it's really that good. So I will now continue eating my ramen and I'll give you the review afterwards. See ya. Okay guys, uh, as you can see, this is an inductee of the Clean Plate Club. It's gone. It's that good. Usually I would just take a bite and bring the rest of the food home But this time this was really good Okay, so Let's base it on the five criteria Location Ambiance Food, service, and price We we'll start with location It's easily accessible here in Kennedy Commons In Scarborough Sorry, I have to burp <laughs> Burping is a sign that you are satisfied, okay? So, it's found in Kennedy Commons. It's actually near the first Jollibee here in Toronto. So, for the Filipinos there, you have to pass by here. Okay? Second, I start with, um, uh, I give the place 5 out of 5. Easily accessible, because, okay? How about uh, ambiance? Ambiance, music is a bit loud, which is actually okay makes you concentrate more on the food the place is roomy and they don't have chairs that have armrests so it's fat people friendly so I give that already a 5 out of 5 now let's talk about the food oh, let's start with service first sorry service the waiters and the chefs are very easily easily one of the best actually sorry to say this but they are the best as soon as we entered, they brought us to our seat. They greeted us like, Hoshama, sir! <laughs> they brought our food promptly. And believe it or not, they were asking me if I wanted seconds, but no. <laughs> so I give the service 5 out of 5, always good on points. Now the food, oh my god, the food. If I could give it a 6, I would give it a 6. 
It's that good. I wouldn't finish my meal if it wasn't good, okay? That broth was full flavored. You can really taste the pork, but there's a hint of that umami from the fish and the anchovies. Whoa. And that egg. That egg was like uh it's 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 not actually really uh how do you put it? It's a, it was a sensual egg. It's like really sensual. Because it was gooey in the middle, nice and cooked on the outside. And that pork, that pork was so tender. Whoa. Now I know why pork belly is a hit here in Canada. That maybe it's because of the ramen. Okay. Now karage, this is one of the best karages I've had. Crispy on the outside, juicy in the middle. Just right, see, the seasoning is just right. Not too salty. You actually didn't need the mayonnaise for it, but I like it with the mayonnaise for that extra creaminess. Still, I give the uh, food six out of five, but five out of five is okay. Now, price. Price-wise, I spent in Canadian around fifteen dollars for the ramen and around ten dollars for the karage. I don't want to compare it to the Philippines because we're in Canada. For me, that is reasonably priced. For this giant bowl, I I was not, actually usually when I eat ramen in Manila, I would eat it then I would look for rice. But with this ramen, oh, you don't need extra rice. Okay, trust me. So, I give the place a total of five out of five. Always good on points. This is a very good recommendation by my aunt and my uncle who have eaten here before. Now. Will I come back here? Yes, I would definitely come back here. Okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next vlog. Follow me on Instagram at Paul Always Gutom, Never Busog. On Twitter at Paul Always Gutom, And on Facebook at Always Gutom, Never Busog. You can also follow them on Instagram at Kinton Ramen. Okay? So, till next time, see ya in the dining room. Bye-bye.